So the next thing I'm going to talk a little bit about is the minimally viable brief. Okay, I, I mentioned the Lean Startup. So the Lean Startup by Eric Ries was written to describe what is going on in Silicon Valley in terms of all these startups. Well, how do you get out of college and immediately have $10 million in your hand to build something? Do you go in with the most amazing Excel spreadsheet demonstrating the competitive marketplace and your awesome understanding of, you know, I don't know, sand pails and shovels? No. I'll tell you what's working right now in Silicon Valley. Let me show you what I'm thinking about. I've built myself a little prototype of a sand pail that I think would be way better. The handle doesn't bust as you walk back and forth. It can hold a lot. It's got a little built-in shovel holder. It's a prototype. Silicon Valley used to invest in big ideas. Now they don't. They're not looking for scrolls of the business plan. They now invest in an idea that they can feel and touch and play with. Minimally viable product. It's not perfect. It's not exactly what I'm planning on building once I get your $10 million. But it kind of gives you the idea of what I'm talking about. And it's probably going to change over the course of the next weeks or months or whatever. So the minimally viable brief basically um, comes from that same principle. And that looks a little something like having a thought starter that says, at a bare minimum, I know that if we want people to give up their mobile devices at the dinner table for the holidays, we probably should start with some pressures around the family unit, limited time to be home with that family unit maybe. And you know, maybe what we will start with is a message that says, if you've seen this ad more than twice, something's wrong, right? I'm just giving it to you as an example to say, there's a thought starter for a strategy for a campaign on how to give up your mobile devices. It's an idea. It's a beginning. And from that, you can keep building and you can keep iterating. But once I've given that to you, once I launch that into you, all your brains, I can see your brains right now going tick, 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 tick. I could do something with that. I could do something with that. I could do something with holidays. Tick, 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 tick. Minimally viable brief. Now, the truth is, a good brief, and I'm not a planner, would have so much more. You will have good target information. You'll have some focus. You'll think a little bit about what's going on in the landscape. And that's all good. But even that stuff, you have to expect that it's going to change. But the idea is, as soon as you have an idea and a general understanding, get it into the hands of great creative minds. Because look how fast they started ticking on your idea and you got off and running. Right? Sooner, better. And we don't have time to wait. You don't have time to wait to get some of this stuff launched. So how do you take advantage of some of the tools that are in the market today? These are some of the Google, there are some Google tools that can help you do that. Um, there are brand impressions, query tools from Google that will help you understand sort of how your brand is being portrayed. There are insights tools, um, real-time insights finders that will give you a handle on what your target is doing and the way that they're behaving. There are a lot of these tools. I think you guys have all seen those link links. But the idea is take advantage of something that's happening right now to get yourself off and running. Now, I want to be really clear. Tomorrow, you'll con continue with your ethnographic research. The next day, you will take your concepts into focus groups. It doesn't, all that stuff doesn't go away. But if you wait for three months for all that research and stuff to be done, you're going to have a little problem because the pitch is going to have come and gone and the business is going to have been given to somebody else while you were working on the perfect concept. You get the idea.